Hello, good evening. Uh, Tuesday, right? It's Tuesday night and I'm making myself some oatmeal because I just got some fresh raspberries and I want to eat them. So I'm going to take some time to make this for myself. I just worked out a little while ago, so eating this would also be a very good decision. While my food is cooking, I just want to take the moment and talk about this book, Brave. I finished it just 10 minutes ago and I will be upfront and honest about my reaction to it. So I will say for sure that I definitely learned a lot more about Rose McGowan. I respect her. I respect whatever she's trying to do in terms of fighting back for the inequality and all of the messed up shit she dealt with. I personally cannot relate to this book too well in terms of that aspect because I've always been relatively confused about what is considered assault. So the only other example that I can give that I do think is a pretty fair comparison is that um, one time I was at a party with my boyfriend at the time, this was during college, and I got very drunk and I kind of passed out in his room on his bed and I woke up to him having sex with me. So. At the time, my thought process was he's my boyfriend, so him having sex with me isn't a big deal, but then you kind of realize that I wasn't conscious, I was very drunk. I That was actually the only time I ever got drunk because after that and having a hangover, I decided that this is a f miserable feeling and I was never going to feel like that again. But also, I don't think I confronted him at the time about how I felt violated waking up to him having sex to me like that's kind of fucked up right even if it's your girlfriend you don't just have sex with someone that's unconscious so i think i talked to him about it later on i don't really remember honestly but in terms of the other aspects where she talks a lot about being empowered and being brave and standing up for yourself and also trying to be aware of what you're consuming and how you perceive these things because i actually feel like as i was reading the book i I feel pretty good about myself because she was saying how like the way they portray women could end up distorting your view and how you feel like you should present yourself and how things like being objectified ends up being fine because the movies portray it that way but I have never really had any issues these past few years in terms of self-confidence like the only thing I think that I kind of had a period for was like, you know, feeling like I wasn't pretty. I, I don't have a lot of self-confidence when it comes to physical appearance, but I don't know. Over time, I kind of just stopped giving any fucks. Uh, you know, I mentioned to you guys in the past that I kind of just completely decided to not wear makeup anymore, which is really not a big deal because I spent all of my life barely wearing makeup, so not wearing it is not a big deal. In fact, I feel like putting on makeup is a huge waste of time and I myself am not very fond of putting it on. So not wearing it is totally fine. I feel like if you don't wear makeup, you really have to have a good amount of self-confidence because everybody, every single girl wears makeup in all those Instagram posts, on all the social media, everybody's always wearing makeup, right? So if you see someone wearing makeup in a picture and then you see a picture of yourself, not wearing makeup, you might just automatically think to yourself like, hey, I look like crap. But luckily, I don't really do that. <laughs> and I just have not really been the comparing type. Like even when it comes to like money or jobs or like looks and all that stuff, I don't really compare because I just have been really happy with where I am. So I feel no need to do that. And everybody is different. Comparing is really stupid. In terms of putting myself down from things I see in the movies or things I read or things I see on the news or any of that, I just, I don't do that stuff. So I feel like I'm at a pretty good point in, I feel like I'm in a pretty good mental space where I'm not really succumbing to the kind of garbage they're showing you. Um, for example, yesterday I watched a Netflix movie when we first met starring Adam Devine and at Alexandra Daddario and it was a really fucking garbage movie because the movie is basically he meets a girl he likes 
turns out she gets engaged to someone else and then he goes back in time to try to change every circumstance everything to try to get with her and eventually he gets with her but then she's not happy so then he's like oh maybe we're not supposed to be together and then he goes back in time and tries to get her friend and can you imagine the kind of message this stupid fucking movie is trying to show you it's basically telling you that like you're kind of entitled to this girl go back and get her like lie to her make up shit about yourself to try to get her and <clears throat> really what a terrible movie this is like don't watch that movie i don't even know why he's a lead actor half the time because he's been doing the same shit since pitch perfect i i did enjoy reading the book um i always like getting more insight into somebody else because you don't know anything about these celebrities all you see are pictures so in this current day and age where everybody feels the need to write a comment about everything they see in the media um I was glad I read this book and I think it is a good read if people are willing to be open-minded about some of these things. Alright, so I finished Walking Riley. It is Wednesday. It's Wednesday and I decided that I'm going to return my flats because I'm trying to be, you know, better with my spending, right? And I can't be doing that if I'm buying $500 flats. Um, I can find alternatives that I like. I saw a pair of Ugg sneakers online for like a hundred bucks, so I could get those and be pretty content with them. I think I would be and I'll return these because, you know, they're just putting me further into debt and I don't need them. And also, I really just don't go out enough to take advantage of having these nicer things. So even though I love them, I think they're beautiful. At least right now, I can't fully enjoy them based on their price point, so I'm going to return them. So I am fucking retarded again, and I forgot my wallet, so I can't return my shoes without my wallet. And okay, this is the final straw. I am going to buy a cell phone case that holds credit cards and my license because the reason that I've been using my wallet for so long is because it's a... It's a, like, it's one of those big Prada wallets. Yeah, it's like one of those big Prada wallets and I have like a homeless person standing right outside my car trying to get me to give her some fucking money. But people who give money to beggars are enabling them. Anyways, so I have one of those big wide Prada wallets that I bought I bought this wallet a long time ago, so it was maybe like five years ago or something and Yeah, it was like 400 to 500 dollars So I feel like I need to use it right because I spent all that money. I mean a couple years back I was happy to use it, but now I Don't need all of those slots. I only need one credit card and my license That's literally it and maybe some cash even though I really don't like using cash the only reason I use cash is because of freaking Asian places that don't take credit cards places like that well that was a little unpleasant <laughs> so I wanted to just go out for a ride I actually picked a spot and I wanted to stop there and read I have not successfully been ever able to stop and read every time I decide to these past few days so I was going up a mountain and I was going north and it started getting pretty cold. I mean today is not the greatest day to ride. It was sunny a little bit but it's like mostly cloudy and it's around 60s. So I wore like my other jacket underneath to try to stay warm and I worked pretty well for a while but it is approaching the end of the, well it's 2.30 but approaching the end of the day kind of. So. It started getting cold and I didn't want to keep going because it's not fun when it's cold. It's very unpleasant when it's cold. Plus, when you're cold, it's hard to focus and when you're riding, you really need to focus. So, I turned around and by the time I started getting near the highway again, it started raining pretty hard. Like, not pouring, but the other kind that's just barely pouring where it's like consistently coming down. So. That was not pleasant. I wasn't expecting rain, but good thing I turned around because I'm home and I was only in the rain for a couple minutes and I'm pretty tired. You know what? I'm gonna stay home.
Um, I returned my freaking flats at the store, and guess what? They don't need your credit card, so I came home for nothing! I came home for nothing! That was kind of sad. Oh yes, and yesterday I saw Sean White win gold for snowboarding, so congratulations to him! Amazing achievement, getting three golds for snowboarding half pipe. And now I get to spend the day with my puppers. I guess I've been pretty busy. Let me turn that down even more. So yeah, I guess maybe I was like rather busy today because I got home from riding at around close to three o'clock and it's only three o'clock. That feels so weird. I mean, it feels weird, but it feels good because I have so much more time left in my day. But um, it turns out that there are more North American qualifiers for Epicenter, which is a major that is occurring in March or April, one of those, and is usually hosted in Russia. It is one of the really good tournaments that has always been done pretty well every year. But as usual, it's Optic Gaming versus Complexity. And... <laughs> I just decided to just put it on and I will read some Stephen King while I just chill and relax. I made myself some more oatmeal and the raspberries I bought this week are so good. They're freaking expensive though, they're four fucking dollars for like a small little pack thing, but they have been tasting super fresh and I am really enjoying my oatmeal, but this is like a little mini meal before dinner to make sure my stomach doesn't go crazy. But yeah, the Stephen King book is only 300 pages. That's so short. I also got my other Agatha Christie book and I will show you guys later, but it's really weird. <laughs> it looks like a freaking magazine. It's like huge. Holy shit. But yeah, the Agatha Christie book I got is really wide and flat. It's only 100 pages. And I guess it does look exactly like the picture that I ordered it from for Amazon. It's just strange because you know how books tend to be very... Books just tend to be small and this one is a bigger one. So not really complaining. I mean, diversity is pretty cool. Well, I finished my movie, Things to Come. It is French and stars Isabel Huppert. And... It was okay, I guess. Um, <laughs> couldn't really relate to her very well, although decent movie, I'd say. Now, since I've already seen a movie that I like, and in the spirit of stupid Valentine's Day, I'm going to watch Pride and Prejudice, which is, I've mentioned before, one of my favorite movies of all time. I think it's just the mix of that era. Um, I just love so much about that era for some reason so there have been so many other movies that I love that I've seen relative to that movie um, I don't know the way they speak the way they dressed the times where like you go to see someone physically to talk to them there's horses and stuff I don't know <laughs> I love the movie and for some reason, I just found the character of Mr. Darcy very, very endearing. I mean, he has his flaws, but I don't know. That's my type of romance, not the uh, current ones where the guy just changes his interests to try to mold to fuck the girl. Major change of plans. Mudbound just came out, and I've been wanting to watch this movie for months. I am so excited that it's out now, so I'm going to be watching that instead of Pride and Prejudice. Or maybe I'll watch both, it's 9.45. But I am so excited. So, so, so excited. So glad that it's out. Look at <clears throat> all of these desserts. I am possibly going to order from BJ's. This is what I am feeling. A deep dish ziti. 1400 fucking calories, but look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh goodness, goodness me. Luckily, Mudbound is taking a while, so... Oh god, this is gonna be a mistake. <laughs> 
So my food is here. I guess this looks smaller than I expected. This was about $15 and then the fries was $3.50. But it looks like it'll be good. So now I've been waiting to watch Mudbound until my food got here. So I've been reading, but now it's time to dig in. Oh my God, I'm so fat tonight. 